using Scribus to arrange sketch comics. That's what we're doing. Scribus, another free open source program, always has this go script error. I like the 4x6s, so I'm going to switch it over to inches. 4, tab, 6, and I'm going to go over here and lock it in. And I'm going to change the guides to point one two five for that box that's going to appear. So now when I click OK, I got that nice little border box. You can change it to whatever you want. So now we're going to set up our guides so we know how to put these panels in. So we go to Page, Manage Guides, and now we can use, uh, see how you click on that and it makes that line there and you click that and make that line there. Then you can hit Use Gap and I like point one two five. you can change it if you want it a little bit smaller you could change it to point zero six two five, or whatever you could just change the numbers to whatever you want so there's that and so to set it up I, I was reading something about the rule of twelves where you can divide twelve equally and twelve equally but it might get a little too crazy so maybe you just want to do the the six by six or who knows if you just want to do like the Kirby stuff you can just change it around there like that but I'm gonna make it go to 12 okay and now you click on uh, the picture frame you want to make sure that you snap to uh, guides otherwise what's the point so now you're going to start uh, going in here and uh, throwing your first panel. I was I was a little nervous. I wasn't sure if it was going to uh, line up with that blue line or not. So now I have my uh, art over here. I can just drag it right in there, right? Now I can uh, keep putting in frames and adding it around. What's cool about this is you can, uh, when you double click it, now you get to like move it around wherever you want. So you can go to image here. Make sure this is properties, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> go to free scaling. And now you can zoom in and slide it where you want it to go. Okay. I already did a previous one, so you can kind of see what I'm going to end up doing. So, all right. So now we can change that to this part. Make it a little bit smaller. But it gives you the freedom to uh, do this the way you want it to arrange it that way you're you're not stuck on the uh sketchy phase. You can get past the sketchy phase. Start closing some of these windows. So you, you could either keep throwing them in there or go to image. Or you can just duplicate it. Go to edit copy. Oh, it doesn't want to copy that. Edit copy, edit, paste. Then you can click it over here and line it up. Headroom. Anyway, this is just, you know, it, it's really nice to have this control, you know, that way you can uh, 
just really customize the pages the way you want to and this could still be your pencil phase you know you don't have to arrange it on the paper you can arrange it on the computer first and then uh, what you can also do well let me try to select these real quick I need to use the shift key I'll just select all edit select all okay uh, if you want to add, I like adding the borders in uh, Inkscape, but you can add the borders here too. You go to uh, Colors, and you click on this little icon right here, Edit Line Color Properties, and it's set to None. So if you set to Black uh, for each one, and you can change the scale by clicking on Line, it's set to 0.139 for uh, 0 0.0139 and then you want to make sure that you change the meter uh, joint to uh, round corner just so that way it'll make it look a lot more comic booky instead of having the sharp corner so there is that and then uh, do last minute arranging where you need it to go and uh, now you're done with the arranging phase and you can export it so this could be your pencils or you can just jump to coloring which I, I will maybe show you the finishing touches later so just save as image they're in DPI or whatever and there you go that's how you arrange with Scribus so hopefully I didn't miss anything thanks for watching